Good morning students. Hope you all are fine at home. I hope last two video might have helped you to understand the lesson. Certain terms must not be in your book but those are needed to understand this lesson. So I have mentioned in the previous videos. As you know on this universe various types of animals exist and they are categorized on different eating habits which were explained to you in the last video. Dear children, today I will tell you that these variety of animals obtain their food through a broad variety of feeding patterns. You can see different ways of taking food or different ways of ingestion. Different organisms take food in various ways. Some of the modes are sucking, scraping, chewing, symphoning, capturing and swallowing etc. So you can see the diagram of a hummingbird which is trying to suck nectar from the flowers with its long beak. A python or snake is there and you know that these snakes they don't uh, eat but the sallow the animal they prey upon. Animals vary in the way of ingesting food. Bees, butterflies, have tube like mouth parts and these mouth parts are called proboscis to suck nectar from flowers. Hummingbirds which suck nectars from the flowers too have a long thin beak. Some animals such as housefly digest food with their saliva and absorb the liquefied digested food with the sponge like mouth parts. Infants of human and many other animals feed on mother's milk. Infant means babies. Snakes swallow their food whole. Birds have beaks and claws. With the help of beaks and claws, they eat their food. Rabbits, rats and squirrels have sharp front teeth to gnaw seeds and fruits. Gnaw means to scrape. Mosquitoes leech and their mouth parts adapted for piercing and sucking blood from the body of human beings. Some aquatic animals filter tiny food particles floating nearby and feed upon them. So these aquatic animals take the food along with the water. The water get filtered and the food remains in their mouth or their inside and they can eat that. Some starfish also have the ability to digest the food outside the body. These starfish catch their prey and hold on to them with tiny suckers under their arms. So this uh, sucker like organs are there under their uh, body and these help them to hold their prey. If their prey has a shell, they use their arms to open the shell. The starfish then pushes its stomach out through its mouth and into the shell to engulf the prey and digest it. It then pulls its stomach back into its body along with the partially digested prey. About the starfish in your book it is given you can refer to it. Elephants have long trunks. They lift the food with the trunk and put it in their mouth. So you can see here. This is an activity which is there in your book. You can do this activity in your copy. Various modes of feeding by different animals. Name of the animal is giving the kind of food they eat and the mode of feeding. Snail feed on leaves and insects and the mode of feeding is scraping and feed on food particles by chewing. Eagle feed on small animals capturing and swallowing that is the mode of feeding for the eagle. Hummingbird feed on nectar of flowers by sucking. Lice feed on blood by sucking. Mosquito also feed on blood by sucking. Butterfly on nectar of flowers symphoning. Housefly almost everything it eats and that is also done by siphoning. So you can see so many animals and their food habit or the way they eat. This is an amoeba. As you know it is single cell or unicellular. It remains in the water and you can see finger like projections. These are called pseudopodia. 
they engulf with the help of the pseudopodia the food particle which remains floating in the water to eat it or engulf it and as a result to inject into its body and then the digestion takes place so about this you will study separately in your book there is uh, digestion in amoeba and during that time you will be again explained about it so thank you children i hope you might have understood this part of this lesson